Hello, 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 everybody. This is Dr. Shaniva Early, your craft doctor. And I'm here with a video that has been long overdue. It is the flower shaping form foam, flower shaping foam video. So I can learn how to make these flowers made out of foam. Um, this is the kit from HSN. And it has the flower foam, all of these little br uh, brushes, <laughs> all of these little stylus, um, what are these? Uh, the little things that go in the middle and the different dies. So I got the kit maybe six months, eight months. I don't even know. Um, I seen um, when I got rose gold, it came with rose gold flower foam, which you probably seen me use the, the strip in one of my videos um, yesterday. And from Crafter's Companion, they had this flower foaming foam from Fleurs in this huge variety pack. And each one has 10 A4 sheets in them. And it's a lot of different colors. Really pretty colors. Stuff for different color leaves. Plain. Like different colors. Even black, which is weird. I don't know about a black flower, but, you know, I might do it anyway. So, I decided to break the stuff out after I did that one strip um, for those three flowers on the video yesterday. I decided to break out all the stuff to get uh, a flower done. So, I did try one before I came on camera. And this is what it looked like. Can you see that? Is my camera on autofocus? But these lights, it's very sunny in here, and I would pick a yellow. Let me make sure that my camera is on autofocus. Stability is on. Yeah, it's on autofocus, so it should be focusing. My camera's right above my head. My husband mounted it on my ceiling. So, this is the flower. Focus on me. Oh, there you go. And it is on autofocus. <laughs> so that's what my first flower looked like. It's a little crooked, but for my first one, I think I did a pretty good job because no flower looks the same in nature. So we're going to try it again. I only use three petals. This time I'm going to do six petals to try to get it to look a little bit better. Um, I'm heating it up on this little bitty flat iron. It, it's this is the iron oh, I don't want to drop it and I don't want to burn myself <laughs> this is the little iron that I'm using and it's a little travel iron and it only heats up to 180 so it doesn't heat up to like 400 like a regular iron and I bought it because of that um because I don't want to burn myself because I'm always reaching for stuff so now let's see if this is going to work um I have some of my crack my little uh what are these tweezers and this doesn't get very hot so it's not going to make it um curl up a whole lot but it'll give it some curliness and so all i'm doing is you can you see the how it's curling up so it's just enough heat to make this flower foam curl up so i'm just doing that to get some um heat to it and you can tell that it's getting heated up and then I'm going to use one of these ball tools so that was the large one so I'm going to use the large one of these you see how it's really curling up and it's not that hot but it's hot enough for me now to take it and put some impressions on it like that Ooh, sorry I don't want to make you dizzy okay and there is our first one. Woohoo. And they tell you that they're all going to kind of turn out a little different. Um, which is fine with me. Uh, they said uh, when I watch people do this, this is what they kind of do to get them the heat onto them. And I guess that this piece gets hot on the top. It's not hot, though, but it helps press that heat in all the way through. And then 
I'm going to take it and give it some texture because this is it's not really that hot it's not hot at all to me um, so then I will use two of these this size and I'll use the smaller one and this is kind of a test to see if this little iron can get this hot enough because this iron is hot I don't know if my foam may be thicker because this is the floors foam so it is thicker but you can manu maneuver it with your hand you could the heat from your hand can make it shrivel up too so I'm just kind of spreading throughout the whole iron and I do have it on high and you can see how it's, it's curling up it's curling up for me okay then I'm going to take it off it's a, a, a lot of static and um, it, the, it's really cupping when I try to cup it it is cupping to make it that flower petal okay so then I'll do another one and I'm going to just put these over here out the way since I've already used those and all I'm doing is swirling them around so the heat can get to them and I think the the actual swirling motion you see is making it helping it to shrink I think it's really helping it to because I'm kind of pressing it into the iron and then I'm gonna yeah so see when I press it down it's getting that cup in motion and then I'll press it down in the middle okay and then this is the two small ones I probably could do both of these at the same time I think this is okay um, I was kind of expecting them to, to get a little bit quicker heated quicker I guess with the iron Cause when I used my iron yesterday, I used my home own, my home iron, and that iron heated it up really bad. But that was a thousand watts. This one is like maybe four hundred watts, or something lower. So it's not gonna get very hot. But I want to keep this one and use it for this. Okay. And okay it's very staticky okay so I'm going to put this iron out the way so I don't get burned and then I got my little pokey tool and I'm going to lay this down and I want to see if I can turn this flower kind of backwards so the leaves will be backwards when I put it on. So I'm going to take my pokey tool and go right in the middle and lift that up. And I'm just sliding this down to the end. So then I can um, take these. Very staticky. Okay, so then I got that one. Did I even get the hole? No, I did not. That one. And then I'm going to turn that. And so what I did was I turned it so it can be kind of uh, staggered. And then I'm going to take this medium one. And I'm going to go right in the middle of that one and stagger that one. 
Okay, I'm going into the next medium one. Make sure this one is staggered. And I'm pushing them all up so they all can fit on there. And then I'm going to stagger this one and make sure that one is up there. Because what I'm doing is trying to make sure that hole is um, big enough for the flower stamens. And then I'm going to take pick that one up, which will give it a different look. It's yellow. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, did that help any? No. Okay. So then now we have this grouping of flowers. And I'm going to leave this on here for right now. Mainly because I want to get some stamens. And um, all the stamens is wrapped in this little wire. This thin thin wire see that it's very thin and so I'm going to take a few of this I usually try to use two four five six um five to six stamens and they're very thin and I'm going to take this wire and wrap it around it of these stems okay and so I'm making that really thin ish. Okay. And then I'm going to take my pokey tool off. And I'm going to take this and stick this right through there, right where my pokey tool was. And pull. Okay. So. As I pull, you can see it on this side right there that I pull this through. And there go my stamens. And then I'm going to just take this wire out. Taking that wire out, and I'm just pulling this back. And then I'm going to take my, I have a cordless glue gun, and then I'm just going to glue on, put some glue on the back of these to keep that stamen in there. Um, tweezers. And there we have it. A nice little flower from the flower foaming kit. Nice full of petals. I think it turned out pretty good. What you think? For my first few flowers. I can use a lot more practice, but I think it turned out pretty good for what it is. So let's come in a little closer so you can see the first one. That's the first one. And this is the second one. I think they turned out pretty good. And so I'm going to add these to some future projects. You'll see my little yellow flowers. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you in the next one.